there. Um, yeah, I ain't got my glasses on because I don't need my glasses to read right this this close up. Um, believe it or not, Marvel has reached uh, well two directors. Still, two directors are looking at, and still two people actors are looking at. Okay, I'll give you the actors first. Directors first: Ted Neufeld, Jonathan Levy, and the. They also mentioned the two actors, Ash Butterfield and Tom Holland. Um, <clears throat> and then there's, wow, Jonathan Francis, Princess Daly, and Jonathan M. Goldstein. The other directors as well, they're, they're on the list. You know, they got till 2017 to do the standalone Spider-Man film, but um, the Captain America thing is not that far off guys he they gotta pick an actor for it quick Fug, screw the director pick the actor but yeah those are the guys that are little looking for okay next news um let's see let's see let's see there we go now this is one I was looking forward to Android promises Ghostbusters reboot hits all the right notes. I don't believe this bull crap, but you know if it's his if it's the female version, no, I don't believe the hype. Never believe the hype if it's the female version because they're already saying that movie's sucking. Even the people who are trying to write it say it's uh, busting makes Dan Aykroyd busting makes Dan Aykroyd feel good at no matter where. Whether men or women are wearing the... Yeah, it does. It matters. The co-creator of co-star Ghostbusters is anything but haunted by the fact that the Icon franchise will be steered by new generation super investigators with... Oh, this is on that stupid, um... Stupid, idiotic female one. I won't even mention their names because you guys know about it. But he's excited about this. He says, yeah, it's going to be hot. Really? You're going to star a bunch of moronic women nobody cares about. Get with it, Dan. What do you see right in this one? I tell the directors if I ask to show up for to be of service. If not, totally fine with it. He doesn't care if he does it or not, basically. And they're missing Winston. In the picture they're showing, but then again, they're also missing male actors. Guys, I can't believe that he's excited about the female bull crap. I mean, I know he's writing it, but writing doesn't make up for the bad actors. It does, it doesn't. And these people are just comedians. And I know it wasn't serious completely, but it wasn't completely a joke either. These two, these. For women, they got a complete jokes. They could have hired better actors or actresses. They could have got better people. These women are jokes. Not even funny jokes, just jokes. I'm not even going to mention their names. Their names aren't worth mentioning. But you guys know about it. You guys, you guys know who the actors and actresses are. You should know who the actresses are. And yeah, what's his name? He's <clears throat> the guy who's played Thor. He's going to be in it now. He's going to be their secretary so they can stare and gawk at him all day at gun fucking day. Or he's going to be a moron like Janine was in the original Ghostbusters. I bet you 10 to 1 they're going to make it. He's going to pick up a proton pack and go try to help the women if they make a part 2 like they did in the originals. And they're going to, he's going to, oh, you, you, only women can handle this or some sh like that. Seriously, I've seen more women run from scary movies than I've seen men. Okay? I've seen women run from more ghosts in movies than men. Women are all prone to being scared in situations like that. I'm not saying they can't buckle up, buck up, but they're not known for it. So, making it into a group of women, it's not the best of ideas because they've, I've seen better. I mean, I know, the, I know they're making a, another... Company, if you want a good one, 
if you want something that probably doesn't stand, it'll probably stand up to it. They're making a male version too. Go see that version. Don't go see the female version because the female version, you know, stand in is, and of course, yeah, he's writing and all that. And he's giving his, oh, it's going to be good. Cue to it. Doesn't mean it's going to be good. Doesn't mean it's going to be worth it. So don't go, I'm, I'm saying don't go see that. Don't go see the new Spider-Man movie. Don't go see the new Captain America movie. Because why? Because I'm boycotting Marvel. Why? Five reasons. The new Wolverine, the old man Logan, Thor, want to be Captain America, Miles Morales. Those five reasons. I don't care about Marvel anymore. So, thus, yeah, on their website, in every Marvel video that I see, I'm going to post Boycott Marvel until I get enough attention to when Marvel realizes we don't want their bull crap. We don't want sugar-coated crap handed to us on a platter. Their new writers, fire them. Then it's like, what the, f man, you can't even write freaking X-Men. You can't even write Spider-Man. Nobody even liked your run on Spider-Man, so you're going to do Iron Man? Dude, what is your freaking problem? You can't write anymore. Your days of glory have gone. By the grace, I'll leave that to somebody who who's way more qualified than me. But yeah, on that note, guys, until I see you, till I know something, when I know, you'll know. And we'll all know. So good luck. Good night. God bless.